Look, great people, welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. Fairly recently, Asari Dakubo and also Uche Emefo has been coming against Mazinam Dikanu, calling an attack on his fundamental human right, and they have been saying a lot of things which may intensify the legal proceeding of uh, uh, Mazinam Dikanu. What I'm trying to say is that his words are so strong that it may even be used as an evidence against Mazinam Dikanu. But right now, a particular right, a human rights organization has come to the rescue of Mazinam Dikanu owing to the fact that there's a lot of quietness despite the fact that as I do, do, do Kubo is speaking, you know. So someone, um, let me say the human rights uh, group has come to speak for Mazinam Dikanu against Asari Dakubo. You will hear the content of what they have to tell Asari Dakubo. But before we give you full details, if you're not subscribed, kindly hit the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our video. Human Rights Writer Association Horiwa has told a former Niger Delta militant leader, Alhaji Asari Dakubo, to be sensitive and stop his alleged garrulous attacks on the rule of law which is geared towards undermining leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipop, Mazinam Dikanu. Horiwa said it strongly condemned the insensitive, callous, and irrationally calculated attempt by the ex-militant leader to intentionally influence the outcome of the trial of Namdikanu. According to him, he said, we condemn the systematic campaign of Columni by Mr. Dakubo targeting Mazinam Dikanu. Hariwa said in a statement signed by Comrade Emmanuel Onwobiko, its national coordinator. According to him, he said, we think that his constant media outburst seeking to undermine the defense that may be put up by Mazinam Dikanu in the court is total, totally unconstitutional, primitive, ten, tendentious, uh, provocative, and animalistic. The group said that Asari Dakubo must be called to order, adding that Nigeria has become virtually a banana republic under this current administration. When for that to say that it is sad that these same government that have committed an atrocity of abducting a citizen from Kenya which is Mazinam Dikanu, is the same government that is engaging in media trial, meaning that the government does not believe in constitutional democracy. This is the reason why the likes of Mr. Asari Dakubo and his eyes are constantly in the media trying to undermine the rule of law by seeking to influence proceeding in the court, including calling for an indefinite detention of Mazinam Dikanu. Horiwa said Asari Dakubo is only taking advantage of the alleged lawlessness in Nigeria, pointing out that has it been the United Kingdom or some other countries, Dakubo would have been arrested because one does not try to influence the proceeding of the court of law. The group insisted that IPOP is no longer to blame for the continued seat at home in some parts of the South is adding that Asari allegation that the group is the one behind the weekly economic shutdown in the region is nonsensical because the secessionist group has since cancelled it. Wow. I mean, this is this whole thing is turning to a lot of things. Now, I, I want to put one or two things together. Immediately, Mazinam Dikanu was you know, brought back from Kenya or extraordinarily rendition down to Nigeria and had been in DSS detention. And right now, the, you know, court proceeding is ongoing. Suddenly, Asari Dakubo have started talking over and over again, not just him alone. Also, his secretary general has all our communication person talking about Mefo, who had been a former um, kind of vice president of uh, IPOP. He had also joined, you know, to uh, Lambas uh, IPOP, making mention of the fact that all the killing that is going on in the Southeast 
is stress able to them and that they should also not deny it any longer they should claim it now you now realize that this is a way just exactly what horiwa have said right now it's a way of making the trial so cumbersome and so distracting for mazinam dikano i mean this is this is unthinkable i another thing that i'm trying to you know think about is I, it's like he's trying to see how Possibly Mazin Amdikano cannot come out because he, everybody knows the level of uh, solidarity and this level of support that he has from the Southeastern people. So now uh, there is no other person that can grow as strong as this in terms of being, you know, Biafra agitator. He's like the topmost guy. We know you, you if you've been watching some of the trial um deaths, you'll notice that the whole area is being jam packed, population everywhere, and people are they supporting and chanting a lot of songs just to show how much they are committed to supporting him. So right now I think what is going on is as if Asahid Akubo is trying to have uh, this one is just assumption you know i'm not so sure of it but i'm trying to based on the analysis i'm trying to see um, that uh, they want to kill the support that has been given to mazin amdikano at least by allowing him to stay in prison or possibly not coming out of prison so that another person can begin to hate you know the push for beer agitation and get enormous support like mazin amdikano has been getting and I think that's why Horiwa had to come up immediately to speak about, you know, um, the activities of Asari Dakubo working against the proceeding or the rule of law. You know, the fundamental human right of Mazin Namdikanu can be threatened at this point because I, from all indication uh, with what Asari Dakubo is saying, he's trying to strengthen, you know, and also consolidate on some of the weaknesses, not just the weaknesses, and some of the points that may be used against Mazin Amdikano. And as I said, that could make me quoted in court, you know, because at one point I feel he had been a member of IPOP and he has, he will say, he has a lot of things to say against Mazin Amdikano. So you now realize that the whole issue is going to um, turn out against Mazin Amdikano. I think that one had to hurriedly step in to see how he can, you know, quell the whole fight against the fundamental human right of Mazin Amdikano. But hey, let's just look at what Nigerians have to say about this whole thing. And I want to hear say, Horiwa, what is your problem? You're coming here to stand against what you don't represent. Well, if you want to say this, I will tell you the truth that Horiwa is not just, you know, a, a normal organization. It's, it, I think one of the key functions or one of the, uh, uh, one of the objective is to protect the fundamental human right of any country they find themselves, you know, and being that they are in Nigeria and uh, they are standing up for Niger for human rights. Uh, right now, that's why you see them talking against, you know, um, Asari Dakuba, owing to the fact that he is trying, you know, to be, um, to, to, to kind of attack the fundamental human right of Mazin Amdikano and also the rule of law. Uh, and which will go an extra mile in undermining the leader of uh, the indigenous people of Biafra. I think that's the reason why Horiwa is speaking. Another one here said, this is what is expected from DOS and others. They should be responding to every form of attack that is coming from Asari Dakubo, because if they do not respond automatically, it will affect the proceeding of uh, the case of Mazin Namdikanu. You see a lot of people are talking. And this one here says, I don't like the way the DOS is overly quiet when Asari Dakubo is speaking. He goes to tell the government that what he's saying is absolutely true and it may be used against him. Thank you, Horiwa, for standing up for the fundamental human right of Mazin Namdikanu. So many people are talking different things, but we want you to also to look at this issue, what do you have to say about uh, uh, Horiwa coming to the help of Mazin Namdikamu? Let's